guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Forge for Minecraft so you can finally play Minecraft modded. And not only am I going to show you how to install Forge, but I'm also going to show you how to fix any problems that you might have along the way. I'm also going to show you how to update Java because it is needed that you update Java in order to play the 1.18.2 version of Forge. So let's get right into the tutorial. Step number one is to click the first link in the description of this video, which will bring you over to this website over here where we're going to download Forge 1.18.2. Now, there's a chance that when you click on this link, Forge might have been updated because maybe we have Minecraft 1.19 out, maybe we have 1.20 out. Anyways, just look for the right version here on the left. And once you find 1.18, click on it. And that is going to open this menu. Click on 1.18.2. That is going to bring you over here and go ahead and click install it, right? Anyways, if you're trying to do this for any newer version of Minecraft, Go ahead and do it. This tutorial should work for any version of Minecraft. Now in here, don't click anything. Just wait until this little top right corner here says a skip, right? You don't want to click any of this and you don't want to download a virus or anything like that. Just wait for this to say skip and go ahead and click on it. Once we click skip, the download should start immediately. Down here in the bottom left, we could see that Forge has been downloaded. Now, before we install Forge, we need to make sure we update Java to the 18th version so Forge will work properly. Now, let's go ahead and drop the Forge installer to the desktop because we're not going to use it yet. Now, go ahead and click on that second link in the description. And once you click on that second link in the description, it will bring you over to this website where we're going to download Java 18. Chances are right now you either don't have Java on your computer or you have Java 8, the older version of Java. And we don't want that. We want the 18 version of Java because the 18 version of Java is needed. So Minecraft 1.18.2 could run the Forge version, right? The modded version, which is what we want to do. So anyways, once you're here in this website, go ahead and scroll down. Make sure you select Java 18 and select Windows and find x64 installer just in Installer. You don't want to download the MSI or the compressed file, just the installer and click on this link right here. That should immediately start the download in the bottom left, as we can see right here. And let's just wait for that to finish. Once the installer has finished downloading, as we can see right here, it has finally downloaded. Go ahead and drop it into the desktop as well. And wait, do not click on it yet. We're not done yet. We need one more thing. And that last thing that we need is Jarfix, Jarfix 3.0. We need Jarfix in order to fix the Java installation so we could finally run the Forge, right? So click on that third link. It will bring you over here and find the button that is called download. Go ahead and click on download. That is going to bring you down here. And we're going to find the blue line that is called Jarfix.exe. Go ahead and click on that. And that should immediately start the download in the bottom left. If it has you go through any other website, don't click on that. You're in the wrong place. Anyways, I know I'm linking the right website on the description. So unless it has been updated, it should look like this. Now, once we have Jarfix, go ahead and drop that into the desktop and we can finally close all browsers. Now we can finally start with the installation of Forge and we're going to run the process backwards, right? So first thing we're going to do is do Jarfix, right? We're going to go backwards. The last thing we downloaded is the first thing we're going to run. So go ahead and run that Jarfix. After you click on Jarfix, it's going to ask you for administrator's permission. Go ahead and click yes. And that is going to bring this up right here. And as you can see, Jarfix has run successfully. Click OK. And now we could even delete the Jarfix, right? We don't need Jarfix anymore. Go ahead and delete it. Or you can save it for later on if you're doing any other tutorial. Anyways, I'm going to delete it. And now we have to install Java 18. Go ahead and click on JDK 18. Double click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to bring up the installation. For me, it says this software has already been installed on my computer because obviously I already have Java 18. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to click yes. That menu won't come up for you. For you, it should obviously immediately start the installation because chances are you don't have Java 18. And if it doesn't if it says that you would like to reinstall it that is because you already have it so you shouldn't worry about it anyways let's go ahead and click next once we have this menu right here click next and just wait for java 18 so install it's a pretty simple process like installing any other software and we need to do it in order to run forge before we mod minecraft anyways once the installation has completed go ahead and close this right here and we could delete jdk 18 now before we run forge 1.18.2 we need to make sure that we have open minecraft 1.18.2 at least once in our computer so for that go ahead and launch minecraft Minecraft launcher. Once the launcher has opened, go ahead and run the latest release. Well, in my case, the latest release is 1.18.2, but there's a chance that for you, it might be a newer one because I don't know when you're watching this. Anyways, if you don't find 1.18.2, you could go ahead and look for it. Anyways, right now, that's the one we have. Go ahead and click play on it. And all we have to do is let Minecraft launch at least once. Once Minecraft has launched, we could completely close it and go back to the installation. So let's just wait for Minecraft to launch right here. Anyways, once the right version of Minecraft, in this case, 1.18.2 has opened at least once, we could go ahead and close it and now we're finally ready to install Forge the moment we have all been waiting for. Let's go ahead and click Forge right here. Double click on it. By this moment, after we've run Jarfix and we install Java, you should be able to see this file right here. You should be able to see this little cop. Go ahead and click on it and that should immediately start the Forge installation. Go ahead and select Install Client. It should be selected by default. Click OK and just wait for Forge to install. Right now, 
you're installing Forge, but wait, do not click out yet because you're not done yet. There might be some trouble that happens after you install Forge, and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Let's just wait for this to finish installing. It's a pretty simple process, like everything we have been doing in this tutorial so far. Let's just wait for that to finish. There we go. Successfully install Client Profile, click OK, and that should close the installation. And now we're going to launch Minecraft Launcher one more time. Now, this is the part where some of you might get frustrated. The part where you open Minecraft Launcher and you can't find the modern version of Minecraft. You can't find Forge. First, let's go ahead and click on this little arrow right here and see if we have Forge. In my case, I do have Forge, and that is because I install Forge in the same folder that I have Minecraft installed. The reason you might not see Forge, first of all, might be because over here in installation, you don't have modded selector, right? If you don't have modded selector right here, Forge doesn't show it. Nothing shows, right? So go ahead and click modded, and that should bring up Forge, Optifine if you have Optifine, stuff like that. But if by any chance, when you click on modded, Forge is not showing, here's a quick fix. Go ahead and click on new installation, and right here, you can name this whatever. I'm going to name it Forge, right? Forge. For sub, right? So, because you owe me a sub right now. Let's go ahead and click on version. And in here is where we're going to scroll until we find Forge 1.18.2. Just scroll down until you find it. As you can see right here, I have Optifine and I have Forge right here, right? So for me, it was at the top. For you, it might be all the way to the bottom. Just look for it until you find release 1.18.2 Forge, right? That's what we're looking for. And we're ready to create. Go ahead and create that. And as we can see down here in the bottom, I hope it's showing. Yes, it is showing. Forge sub has been created. You could go ahead and click play. It's going to give you this little warning. Click that you understand the risks and click play. Let's wait for that to load. After Forge has been installed and we run Forge and we open the game, this is what we should see on the bottom left. Three mods loaded, right? We should see a new menu called mods right here, as we can see. Go ahead and click on that and you should see all these new things in here. Have journey map installed. There's a tutorial on my channel on how to install journey map in case you want to have a mini map on the corner. Anyways, that is how you install Forge. I hope you were able to follow along and that I was able to help you. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, bye bye.